Hi, I'm Healing Means. Welcome to my channel and welcome to a Backyard Shenanigans Garden Seed Haul. Good morning ladies and gentlemen it is the next morning after my usps rant make sure you check out that youtube short i did that yesterday late afternoon as i rushed to the post office after receiving notification that i had received one of my etsy seed orders before we get into this video please take a moment to subscribe to my channel click that notifications bell like comment and share with everyone you know now let's get into the video Ladies and gentlemen, y'all know. Y'all know yesterday I was burnt up. And you know how you're supposed to like let all that go. When you go to sleep, wake up the next morning, be a new and a fresh person. Y'all, I got some residual effects. If you watched my YouTube short yesterday when I went to the post office, you know what the deal is. But if you didn't, I'm just going to show you. This is the package that I received in my post office box. This was jammed and smushed and squeezed into my post office box. Why the post office did this when there are hundreds of other locked boxes? So if you get a box, whatever size post office box you get, if the item is too bulky or too large or, you know, doesn't fit for whatever reason, there are other boxes that the post office can put your items in, your package. When you open up your post office box, you get a key, and then you just take that key to that box, open it up, and you get your package. I just did this last week, y'all. I just went to the post office last week to get a package that was too large for my box, and so they put a key in my box, and I used that to get my package out of a larger lock box. I had two packages stuffed in my post office box. I had this one, and then I had this one, which is the third MI Gardener um, seed order. So I have all three of them. They sitting right here. These two, I think I'm going to do separate videos for. And then this one is what I'm going to do the live stream for because it's so many seeds. It's like 220 seeds or whatever. And it's just going to be... A long live stream I'm asking that you you know just pop in and spend some time with me when you can I am gonna put up a community post to say when I'm gonna do the live stream and try to give as much heads up notice as I can um, but I have to do it when I'm available to do it so just stay tuned for that that's gonna come later this week or sometime this weekend so the name of this company is The Winter Garden, and they are an Etsy store. I'm looking at my order right here on my laptop because I believe I ordered 35 different seeds. So 35 packs of seeds should be in here. My experience ordering seeds off Etsy. If you compare the prices to some other companies, it is more expensive. But we have to remember we are dealing with small businesses, sometimes individuals or just a few people. Most of this work is done by hand. You know, it takes time, et cetera, et cetera. So you do get a small amount of seeds. But if you think about it, depending on what the plant is, one good seed can produce you a fruit, a vegetable, a herb, and then also give you many seeds. If you save seeds, this is a good way for you to just have start off with a, a few seeds and then you know you can save seeds if it's open pollinated if it's not a hybrid because if it's a hybrid it won't grow back true to the parent but if it's open pollinated if it's an heirloom it will so you just have to be mindful for that also so the back is taped y'all and i put you remember those nails i just said yesterday if you watched my chill chat video i put that out late last night and i was saying this was one of the nails that i didn't like but because i had two packs of them you know we definitely was gonna wear them and 
I clipped the nail, I clipped the top off to kind of square them off because I didn't like that, that kind of pointy thing. I didn't like that. So, all right, let me, um, I mean, and the whole thing is already ripped. So I'm just going to kind of continue tearing this from the crease in the top of the envelope. I just took off the top. That's what this looks like. Y'all, I am so, look at this. I mean, I could really just slide everything out the sides. I really could just slide everything off the side. I'm so, oh, here is my seed order. And it looks just like what I'm looking at on the website. And you can see at the top, it does say 35 items. Let me see. Yeah, right here. It says 35 items. So that's what we are expecting. So I'm trying to get through this. Y'all, the post office just, I'm seriously thinking about getting a box with UPS instead of the United States Postal Service, we gonna see. All right, and then here is the package. And I can totally see that this could be 35 package. It's very plain packaging, but y'all look, the seeds, the seeds don't care. You can see that it's just like a handwritten, just my handwritten label to tell you what it is. So I'm gonna lay these out. I'm not going to try to put them in order or whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. I had to take care of something right quick. But we are back with the garden seed haul from the Winter Gardener on Etsy. I already explained about the package. USPS let me down again. But thankfully, the Winter Garden packaged everything. So the individual seed packs are intact. I did take some time to lay everything out in front of me. I compared it against my order and I did notice a couple discrepancies. I have contacted the seller and I'm waiting for a reply. So let's just hope all things go well with that. So I have my laptop right here and I placed the seeds in order of what I see on my laptop. So I can just go down the road and tell you what I have. The majority of these seeds were 99 cents or $1. In addition to the affordable price, I also got a 10% discount code. The reason why I made this purchase is because it was some varieties that sold out at MI Gardener or it was ones I saw that was interesting on the Winter Garden Etsy store. Some of the wording is a little bit small on the label package, so I'm just going to read it straight from my laptop order i got burpees golden beats and y'all i've been wanting to get golden beats for a while i think i talked about this before they are milder they taste less earthy than the red beets and they don't lose their color when you cook them so that's one thing i like about that this is what the seeds look like and you can see the packet is very simple just a little baggy with a handwritten label on it and the seeds the next thing i got was alaska peas and i normally get these from the dollar tree or the 99 cent store but apparently i have ran out of alaska peas and they grow well for me i might sow a few seeds maybe in september or october they do well in cool weather hence alaska peas so I have, let me see, this says I have 25 seeds and this looks to be about 25 seeds. The next thing I got was Sugar Lace 2 peas. Now this is a different type of pea. I never had this before, but sugar and pea, they had me. Then I got Black Turtle Bean seeds. Now I think these sold out for me on MI Gardener and I saw this opportunity to get some of the seeds so I got them and some of these have like the name of it it says black turtle beans and then on the back you have um some directions it says sow two to three seeds per plant one fourth deep in full to part sun and keep soil moist not wet so the label is small so you have to get the words you know you got to get your point across on this small label but i do appreciate that i wish it was on all seeds but maybe seeds that are not as common where the seller feels like okay let me just explain what to do and not but i appreciate that because i don't have to look it up 
Then I got dwarf white sugar peas. Now this is important to me because of my container gardening. I think I might actually sow these seeds in my green stalk vertical planter maybe over the next couple of months. It depends on what germinates from the seeds that I already sowed because some things are germinating, some are not. Regardless, I'm still going to transplant every starter into the place that I have it. And if nothing germinated from like that block of soil, I'll put something else in it. Next, I got white granule Spanish onion seeds. It says about a hundred seeds. And y'all, I'm not finna count that, but <laughs> it looked like a lot of seeds. It looks like a lot of seeds. The white granule onion plants are a short day onion. I am in zone 10B slash 11A in Southern California. If you divide the United States horizontally into three, the upper level will be for long day onions. The band in the middle will be for intermediate and then the lower third will be for short day. Now, of course, there's some play here and there. I have grown long day onions here. Sometimes they don't get as large, but I can still use the green tops. I will still use the small bulbs and use them just like I would if it was a large bulb onion. I also purchased candy yellow onions, Southport white globe onions, cosmic purple carrots. Are these sold out? And so I was so glad that the Winter Garden Etsy store had these cosmic purple carrots, sweet oversized yellow onion seeds. I got the tender sweet carrots. This is kind of where my first discrepancy came into play. So I only ordered one packet of each variety of seeds, but I got two packets of the tender sweet carrot, which means that I'm missing something else. And we'll talk about that in a few minutes. Canton Pak Choi cabbage. I like the different Asian varieties of cabbage, so I bought a few here. I'm gonna try them out and see how well they grow in my zone. Thumbelina carrot. I got them, y'all, because they so cute. And I probably was looking at them at another website that had sold out, but I like little small Thumbelina carrots. Yeah, I could just eat them raw. I also purchased Ruby Queen Beets, Large White Rib Swiss Chard, Green Ice Lettuce. And y'all, I'm going to try this because I do not like iceberg lettuce, but this is Green Ice Lettuce. And it's supposed to be like an improved version of iceberg lettuce. Y'all, we're going to see. We're going to see. Tat Soy Chinese Cabbage, Lunar White Carrot. This is another variety that I did not receive. I also ordered Snow White Carrots. I got that packet, but I did not get the Lunar White Carrot. And I did my research. They are two different varieties, and I went back on the site, and it is offered two different varieties, plus it's in my order. Red Creole Onion. That's definitely a short day. Y'all know I'm from Louisiana. I know... Uh, yeah, I know the red creole onion and I was so glad to find these seeds. I can't wait to sow them. Stew garter yellow onions, amaranth cabbage, Texas early granule onion, yellow granex onions. I ordered renegade spinach and this is something that was another discrepancy in my order. So this is labeled renegade spinach, but you can see these are peas. These are not spinach seeds. And let me show you. So another spinach seed that I got. Hold on. Let me show you. Just in case you're not familiar with um, with the spinach seeds. These are Razzle Dazzle spinach. And these are what spinach seeds look like. So spinach seeds look like this. And this says Renegade Spinach. And you can see that these are not the same type of seeds. I got tricolor romaine mixed lettuce. I like romaine lettuce. And I'm trying to add more color to my produce. Not just the whatever the standard color is of the vegetable. So not just green or just orange or just whatever. I'm trying to get a variety of color and nutrients. Um in my vegetables so that's why i got this tri-color romaine mix walla walla yellow onions 
The albino beet seed, I did not get the albino beet seeds. I ordered Helios Golden Radish seeds and I'm trying to expand my palate with radishes. I eat them very thinly sliced or chopped up in my salad. I can eat them baked in like a root vegetable medley, but um, I'm just trying to see what else is out there. I also order all seasons cabbage, snow white carrot. I order Morris Heading collard, crystal white wax onions, and then the snowball white onions, the Nabucca bunching green onion, and then the razzle dazzle spinach, which is the packet I showed you earlier. The razzle dazzle. In spinach. all, I ordered 35 packs of seeds. I did get 35 packs of seeds. The variety of seeds uh, is not correct. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the first of two Etsy seed order hauls that I have. This is from the Winter Garden on Etsy. A lot of their seeds were 99 cents, a dollar, up to 250 for the seeds that I looked at. They could have some that are a little bit more expensive, but um, most of the ones that I looked at were between a dollar and 250. You do get a fair amount of seeds, you know, depending on what you order. Like this is radish seeds, and let me see if I can just look this up right quick. So for the Helios Golden Radish Seeds, it says 50, and I'm pretty sure that this is at least 50 seeds. It may seem like you get a smaller amount of seeds. Maybe the packaging is plain or whatever, but y'all, the seeds don't mind, and I don't either. Overall, I'm very pleased and I'm satisfied. But y'all, it's the post office. It's USPS, and I'm, I promise you, I am seriously considering getting um a, a post office box or a mailbox with just a, a, a different company ladies and gentlemen that's all i have for this video please remember to subscribe to my channel click that notifications bell make sure it's set to all like comment and share with everyone you know and until next time be safe be well and be blessed